Hey, what's going on? I have another video here on some additional interior modifications for the 6th Gen Camaro. In my case, it's a 2021 Camaro ZL1, but this video will apply to all 6th Gen Camaros and really to any car that needs a phone mount and a quality phone mount at that. This is a Pro Clip phone mount that I purchased uh, about half a year ago or so. I actually had to remove it to install some carbon fiber interior pieces. Getting ready to install it back in my car, but I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick rundown in case uh, anyone else is running in the same situation as I was where the car really has nowhere to put your phone. It's either <laughs> you tuck it under your ass, you toss it on your leg and it flies off somewhere as you take a sharp turn, or uh, you just hope for the best and uh, usually get the worst as the phone disappears underneath your car somewhere. So I picked up this Pro Clip uh, phone mount. There's two versions for the 6th Gen Camaro. There's uh, one that will mount to the uh, passenger inner um, knee bolster and it will actually will kind of situate like this. And you will actually have the phone sitting right around where the passenger inner uh, HVAC vent is kind of before some of the uh, HVAC controls. Um, they have another version for the 6th Gen Camaro which actually mounts up to the right of the gauge cluster. And then uh, I went with this option just because I don't really want a phone up that high up on my car. I kind of want something out of the way. I can use to either monitor maybe some, uh, have it run Torque app or something like that, or maybe Waze if I didn't want to use um, Android Auto. But uh, yeah, so when you purchase this on the ProClip website, you actually purchase the mount. You'll enter your car information. It'll recommend the one, for this case, one of two mounts. You'll pick the mount, it'll add it to your cart. Then you actually pick your phone and it'll recommend a number of different phone mounts. Uh, I went with the small medium case phone mount. So this actually can fit a phone of a decent size in a case, as long as it's not a crazy huge case, you know, a bulletproof case, but a, a typical size case will fit into this mount. And it does have versi versatility. These wings on the edge here actually can expand outward and inward uh, and lock down the phone with some variants of, um, degree of adjustability. Now, if you have a massive phone, these can only go so far, or if you have a super tiny one, you're going to have to get a smaller mount. And uh, they have also have a wireless version, which will have a wireless built in and some kind of auto adjustable little wings here. So you'll, you'll throw your phone on there, it detects it, it snaps closed on it, and starts charging your phone. They also have a hard mount one with um, a plug that comes out the bottom here. You'll slide your phone into it and it'll plug in it's kind of like a typical type plug setup i went with this one i didn't want wires hanging everywhere i don't really my phone can last quite a while with a uh, charge so i don't really worry about it too much but there are options out there for you i'll go ahead and uh, show you the walkthrough of what the website looks like and how to actually select the uh, setup that you want here right now Take a look and then we'll jump back here and do a quick overview of what you get once you order and receive your phone mount. First off, you're going to go to ProClipUSA.com and then it'll ask you what you're driving. Select your vehicle in the drop downs. Uh, I picked a 21 Camaro. And then you have two choices of your base mount for your car. I went with the uh, console mount. So you go ahead and you add that to your cart and then it'll ask you to go ahead and choose your phone. Or your device and uh, for me I went ahead and picked phone and then you get a drop down of a number of choices uh, mine's a Samsung S21 Ultra so I went ahead and picked that in the drop down if your phone was different of course choose your phone and then you'll move on to the next screen and this will give you uh, a number of options depending on your needs I went with the small medium uh, case phone mount but you can also go with the wireless charging or some others I went ahead and added the uh, standard small medium case mount for my uh, option and then you go ahead and you can agree to some terms enter some discount codes if you have one they have sales pretty frequently and then you can go ahead and check out just like any other storefront it's pretty simple and uh, really gives you a good amount of flexibility based on your needs so anyways that's going to wrap up a quick overview of the website as you saw, ordering and selecting exactly your uh, setup that you want to go with was quite easy. And depending on what you order, your uh, ProClip uh, mount will show up in a uh, 
bag. Of course, mine is unbagged now and actually assembled already because I was running this for the past six months or so. And I didn't really want to do a review until I actually uh, ran the mount for an extended period of time and can really give a good overall impression of it. But what you do is you'll receive the car mount portion, which is all of this. And then you receive your mount that you chose, which is this part up here. And uh, you will actually will initially, to get it assembled, have to take out this medium sized Phillips head screw right here in the middle. You'll unscrew that and that'll let you break it away from the adjusting plate back here. You will then take the adjusting plate, this piece will be off of it, and with four smaller Phillips heads, you will attach it to the car mount. Once you have it attached to the car mount, you will then reattach the phone mount to the adjustment plate, reattach the uh, Phillips head screw here in the middle, and then you'll slightly loosen up these adjustable wing uh, Phillips head screws. And then you're gonna wanna take your phone and you're gonna want to expand out the wings to fit your phone firmly, but uh, not so tight that it's almost impossible to get the phone in and out and not so loose that the phone kind of wobbles around or doesn't get held securely in place. Then once you have squeeze these down to it's a pretty good fit, but you can still easily remove your phone Make sure these do not move, and you'll tighten these two screws back up, which will lock these wings into place. And then you will want to adjust um, the orientation of the foam mount, kind of how you want to face it, get a general idea. I have mine like this, but you'll probably have a better idea once you get in the car. And uh, yeah, it's assembled at that point. All you have left is to actually install this in your car. So we'll head out to the car. Back out in the car. I have the pro clip mount here already assembled as discussed earlier and uh, pretty much what it's going to do is the bottom little hook here hooks underneath the plastic trim on the side of the console and then the top hook right here just kind of clamps over the edge of your uh, knee bolster and then you kind of get it lined up of how you want it you don't want it of course too close to anything otherwise it will your phone or whatever will impact the uh, infotainment center or will completely block these buttons over here which is the passenger heated seat cooled seats um, airflow circulation so i like to keep it a little bit forward now of course this will change if you have a manual you'll need a little bit more room side to side here so you can of course tilt this over here and arrange how it tilts so i'm gonna go ahead and get this placed I'm going to heat up the adhesive here because this is uh, being reinstalled as I had installed it earlier. But I'm reinstalling it so I'm going to get the adhesive a little bit heated up. Get this snapped into place down here and then you just kind of pull it over the edge and get it on here. I do have my carbon fiber trim here so I don't want to damage that. So I'll have to be careful and I will get this all centered up how I like it. And the Pro Clip mount is mounted. The mount has been mounted. Um, as discussed, kind of see over here where the uh, clip snaps in underneath the console plastic. See right there, that console plastic, it goes into the carpet, it'll slide under there. And actually the trick is you wanna latch it over the edge of the seat bolster onto the console itself. Get it measured out exactly where you want it. And then you're gonna pull down this piece until it, uh, you can bring it over that lip of plastic on the console and it'll snap into place and it's it's solid um, it's not going to be moving around or anything crazy like that and uh, I have it positioned so it's facing me as a driver the, with the phone when it sits here it won't be uh, blocking the infotainment screen uh, actual screen itself so then if I take my phone you know how it just slides in it sits in place and as a driver you're kind of sitting back here it doesn't block your infotainment screen doesn't uh, affect grabbing the shifter of course this may be, need to be tweaked if you have a manual transmission I have the A10 so I don't have to worry about that I just have to be able to go down up and to the left and then uh, if you look here it does block these buttons back here but it's uh, passenger buttons and I can carefully still hit the buttons if I need to they're not as important as of course the buttons right here so I'm not 100% cared about that as much as I am about these buttons here and the screen itself and like I said if you're sitting here driving it's off to your peripheral vision so if you want to run torque app or something like that to monitor 
different uh, gauges on your phone you can do that if you want to run ways if you don't want to run ways on apple carplay or android auto everything is still there and visible but not cutting into your window or actually affecting your, your passenger if you have a passenger they won't this won't affect them it does protrude out just a little bit and it's not a flush fit here which some people have complained about as you can see there's like a little gap here it's so this actual can be slid forward and back and give you some adjustability if it was super flush it would only go in one exact spot instead it has a little bit of space here you can move maneuver it as you wish to some degree you can maneuver this part here you can tilt it it can spin like this a little bit tilt forward back however is perfect for your seating position as the driver the other version of the pro clip mount goes up here i believe it's in around this area and your phone would i guess would sit up here in this general area i didn't want that because i don't like having something you know crazy up in this in my in my line direct line of sight of my driving so um yeah so that's it pro clip definitely highly highly recommend this mount i haven't found anything better um it's clean it looks very nice it blends in with the interior mostly and really i don't think there's a better option and the different variations of this mount are probably what the best you can get for this vehicle and probably most platforms um of course our our options here are quite limited there is no normal storage space except some cup holders so yeah anyways my light just went off so i'm gonna wrap this up uh sorry for the long video but uh yeah i've had it for about six months no complaints sturdy durable i bought it at full price no special discounts or anything like that um, they do have sales quite often so just uh keep your eye for that and uh once again thanks for watching subscribe like share if you want check out my new website wangzilla.com uh pretty much just a link tree with my youtube uh link and my instagram but i plan to actually make that into a video platform of some sort to cycle through the youtube videos and maybe offer some other stuff if anybody wants anything let me know and uh yeah we'll roll out peace